Okay. I went to hell. I went through hell. And let me just tell you, it's, it's not what you think, but it's just as bad. The punishments are so painful. And... But whenever I came back, I was a better person. I became a better person. And I wanna share with you my experience because it may change what you do next. There are levels in hell made for specific types of people, but I can only tell you about three of them because it's where I've been. When you first get there, you walk through this dark, ominous hallway where you you lose all sense of hope and you feel alone and you just want to get to your level just to get out of the hallway this the hopelessness i just wanted to get out the first level of hell is where the english teachers who assign essays during tests go there is a judge at this level and she explains who goes there. And I remember exactly what she said to this day. I'll be quick. You guys know why you're here? No? Well, let me tell you. You people want to make the world a better place by hating your job and the children that you teach. You want to assign them an essay during a test. You just had to make it complicated. Well, guess what? You're going to pay in hell, literally, for making your students suffer. Don't worry, some of you may not even belong here. You know those obnoxious teachers who actually do their job and care about their students? Yeah, you diggers can just keep on going. Those of you who are staying, welcome to level one of hell, made especially for teachers like you. Have a nice eternity. Okay. The punishment in this level is horrible. You have to write essays for all of eternity without stopping. And if you do stop for even a second, you get stabbed by a pencil. The second level is for the people who bite their nails. There's not a judge there because they say you deserve to be there. The punishment, you are forced to rip off your nails one by one, over and over. <laughs> level that I went through also doesn't have a judge because you're either in there or you're not. If you post an excessive amount of selfies and videos of yourself in hopes that you get more likes and views and compliments, you are forced to stare at your face in admiration only to have that taken away from you while you rip off your face. It was bad. I don't want to go back. I will never do that again. Please don't make me go back.